As we usher in the year 2024, I've got a treat for you. A showcase of the latest mods that will enhance your gaming experience. In today's video, we're breaking it down into four exciting categories. Gameplay, rifles, outfits, and settlements. So, get ready for some incredible mods that you won't want to miss. Now, without further delay, let's dive right in. First, I'll introduce some gameplay-related mods. I've selected the ones that TestNexus users prefer the most. First is Manual Reload. It's a F4C plugin mod that disables the automatic reloading feature when the magazine is empty or out of ammo. Normally, you would reload automatically when you use up the magazine. But with this plugin, you have to press the reload key again, even if the magazine is empty. This mod makes gun use more strategic and skillful and increases the tension and immersion of combat. I've introduced this mod because I think it would be interesting to use. If you like it, please give it a try. Next up is Invulnerable Peepers, Robco Patcher. This mod makes Peepers, the iBot of the Adam Katz faction in Fallout 4, immortal. It uses a tool called Robco Patcher to give Peepers an essential flag. This mod is ESP less, so it does not take up a plugin slot. If you love Peepers, you should try this mod. And the mod that changes Peepers into a drone in this video is KB47's Robot Replacer. This is also a really cool mod, so if you like it, Give it a try. Next up is Improved Guards. This mod enhances the Diamond City security, Good Neighbor Watch, and Caravan Guard NPCs to make them useful at higher levels. The guards level up with the player up to level 80 and have increased base health. Diamond City security use different automatic weapons depending on their level. At higher levels, they are more likely to carry assault rifles. This mod rebalances the guards according to the player's level to make them more effective at higher levels. Next up is Project Reality Footsteps, FO4 Expansion. This mod makes the footstep sounds in Fallout 4 more realistic. This mod changes the footstep sounds depending on the terrain and equipment, but it excludes power armor and sleeping mode. To use this mod, you need to install Project Reality Footsteps FO4 first, which is a mod that expands the vanilla Fallout's six footstep sounds to up to 16 sounds for each type and terrain. This mod is an expansion of Project Reality Footsteps FO4, and it standardizes the footsteps volume level for all surfaces for both the player and all NPCs. Surprisingly, this game is quite dependent on the footsteps and breathing sounds, so I think this is one of the important mods. Next up is Cut Content NPCs, all in one. This mod restores 18 NPCs that were cut from the Fallout 4 game. The original creator made each NPC as a separate cut content mod, but this mod combines them all into one. You can meet NPCs like Arnie, Adam Cat, Brad Finnegan, and more. Each NPC adds more depth to the Fallout 4 story. For example, Brad Finnegan is added as a member of the Forged, who was supposed to be in the Blast Furnace, and Arnie is a character related to Red Tourette's gang story. This mod will allow you to encounter the NPCs that were originally cut from the game and immerse yourself in the captivating story of Fallout 4. Next up is Vat's third person only. This mod changes the VAT system in Fallout 4 so that the camera always stays in third person, instead of switching to first person. You can only use VATs in third person with this mod. If you prefer playing in third person, you might want to check out this mod. It doesn't have any settings options yet, but the creator said they will release a version integrated with MCM in the future, so you can keep an eye on this mod's updates. Next up is Scale Form Copy Paste. This mod is a F4SE plugin that allows you to paste your clipboard content into any text fields in the UI. It supports multiple languages and removes the special character limit on player name and fixes broken copy and paste in console. It also supports multibyte languages such as Chinese, Korean, Japanese, Russian, and more. However, you cannot type directly into the text fields. You have to copy and paste the content from somewhere else. English-speaking players may not need this, but if you use another language, this will enable you to use your language for item or character names. In this corner, we will introduce some mods related to weapons. There are quite a lot of weapon mods that have been released recently, so we have a lot to show you. First, let's take a look at Call of Duty Weapon Mod Deposit Part 2. This is a mod made by Warfighter, which adds various weapons from the Call of Duty series to Fallout 4. 
There are many weapons, such as General Dynamics RM-277, Staccato P-2011, Maluk Vulcan M, IMI Galil Arm, GM-6 Lynx, MW Fennec, and each weapon has various attachments and color options that you can customize as you like. Also, some weapons can use blueprints from Call of Duty, so please try them out if you're interested. Next up is MW2019 CR56. This mod is inspired by Call of Duty MW2019 and adds the CR56 rifle to Fallout 4. I checked with in-game ESP Explorer and found that there are four types of rifles in this mod. However, the sound and animation of these rifles were mostly the same. The first-person animation was especially impressive, and there were various customization options, including a scope that supports fake-through scope and a rifle that supports tactical reload. If you are looking for a tactical rifle that supports fake-through scope, you might want to try this one. Next up is MW2019, model 680 Pump Action Shotgun. This mod adds a pump action shotgun inspired by Call of Duty MW2019 to Fallout 4. This shotgun offers various attachments, animations, ammo types, and is compatible with BCR and tactical reload mods. Besides the basic ammunition, you can also modify the ammunition with slug rounds, dragon's breath rounds, and other parts, including the pump. Please refer to the mod description for more details. Next up is the 22 Pistol Pack. This mod adds various types of 22 caliber pistols to the Commonwealth. This mod provides various customization options for each pistol and integrates them naturally into the leveled list. Also, this mod is compatible with Scope's framework, so you can attach different scopes to the pistols. The animations and appearances are somewhat rough, but this mod will expand your pistol choices in Fallout 4. I hope you enjoy this mod. In this corner, I want to introduce you to some outfits. However, there are no new outfits worth introducing, so I picked an old mod that I think you might like. It is the Technical Competition Sportswear Outfit. This mod adds sportswear to the game, and it is compatible with the CBBE body model. The size of this outfit was quite large, about 2.7 GB. There were various types of sportswear, and I think it would look good to wear them with tactical belts. Currently, there are 3 BBB, Fusion Girl, and TWB body slide patches, and you can get the outfits from the Chem Station or the ESP Explorer. There are also outfits that only support the top, so you can use them partially. Please try the outfits according to your taste. Finally, I will introduce you to two settlement-related mods. First up is Scrap Zapper 2. This mod adds a device that automatically cleans up scrap, loot, and most of the crafted items in the settlement. This device is a recycled version of a battlefield cleanup machine that General Atomics International developed before the war, using electromagnetic pulses. You can make this device at the workshop, and it will clean up the entire settlement in 20 seconds. This mod mostly works on scripts, so it is compatible with other mods. There is only one cell edit to fix the DLC bug. Previsibeans are not broken, so please try this mod to make your Fallout 4 settlement management easier. Next up is Dartmouth Professional, Skyscraper Settlement. This mod allows you to use the rooftop or the entire tower of the Dartmouth Professional building as a settlement area. You can choose between the default option of using only the rooftop and the alternative option of using the whole tower. This mod preserves the pre-combined objects, so it does not affect the performance, and it is lightweight, as it has the ESL flag applied and no BA2 files. Moreover, the entire nav mesh is applied, and the elevator works. NPCs can also use the elevator. In addition, the features such as attacks, Minutemen quests, raider quests, recruitment, provisioners, etc. work normally. The small interior cell inside the building has been changed to an interior settlement area with the player home feature. Everything inside can be destroyed, so this mod has various features. Please try it out if you like it. Thank you for joining us in exploring the must-have new Fallout 4 mods that promise to elevate your gaming experience in 2024. If you enjoyed discovering these exciting additions to the Fallout universe, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more fantastic content. Your support means the world to us. Until next time, happy modding and happy gaming.